everyone and welcome back to our channel. This video is Zoho Campaign's full tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll explore every aspect of Zoho Campaign's empowering you to create engaging and impactful email campaigns that resonate with your audience. We will go through all of the menu tabs, the settings, the email builder, and we will create your first ever email campaign with me. Before we begin this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button because we prepare a lot of useful content. When you open Zoho Campaigns, you will see this tab, which is a dashboard tab. You can see all of the basic information in here, all of the graphs and email campaigns count. And you can also see the dashboards and reports of your most recent campaigns. From dashboards, you can also go to the reports already, but we will talk about the campaigns itself at first. So Zoha Campaigns offers three types of campaigns, email, social, and SMS campaigns. We will talk only about the email campaigns. When you go to the tab of email campaigns, you can see all of the list of com campaigns that you ever created, and you can also validate a coupon here. So in Zoha Campaigns, you can create coupons and send it via email to your customers, and you can validate the coupon that you sent already within the Zoho Campaigns account. Now let's go to the contacts tab. There is all contacts tab where you can see all of the contacts within your Zoho campaigns or you can manage the lists here. There is also more options. For example, you can merge the list, export contacts or import the overview. And obviously you can create a new list of contacts here. And let's add a new list to our contacts. To do that, press a button to create a new list, name it, and then you have a few options to add the contacts manually, import contacts, synchronize contacts from other apps, and using a sign up form. Let's import the contacts. You can drag and drop a file from your computer or use any of the cloud softwares, for example, Google Drive. Then you can edit preferences and map the contacts within your new new list. Then let's move on to the topics. You can assign topics to different mailing lists. For example, we have marketing, Friday survey and newsletter, and you can assign these topics to a certain list and do the email campaign specifically for those lists. You can easily create a new topic and assign new contact lists to this topic. And now let's go to the synchronizing services. In this tab, you can synchronize the contacts from different apps. For example, we connected Zoho CRM to synchronize our leads and contacts to Zoho campaigns, but there's other options like Zoho Begin, Zendesk, Zoho Backstage, HubSpot, Invoice, Zoho Books, Office 365, Eventbrite, Zoho Meeting, Sugar CRM, and much, much more. Let's see how the synchronizing the contacts from Zoho CRM looks like. You can press the new sync and then choose the immediate sync or periodic sync. So periodic sync means, means that contacts will be added to the list in the certain amounts of time, for example, once a day or once in a week. We will choose immediate sync and then you choose the module. It can be leads, contacts or custom module. Let's synchronize contacts from contacts module. You can choose this one and then you can synchronize the contacts, all, the, all of the contacts, all the contacts from custom view. So we can filter all of the contacts in your Zoho CRM and then import the contacts that you only need in certain mailing list. You should also choose a list for which you want to add the contacts to the existing or create a new list and obviously assign a topic for this list. The next step on the menu is segments. So for example, you want to reach a very small targeted audience, for example, the owners and co-owners of the company and make an email campaign for them. You can do that by creating a new segment. You have to name it and then add criteria. So to add criteria, you can press on the criteria and choose the fields, for example, the predefined fields, and then choose the field. We will choose a job title obviously and then you can choose is isn't contains or doesn't contain we will choose the contains and then write down what information it should contain in our case it's the owner and you can add another criteria and add the same field and write down the co-owner 
and then choose if you need both of the conditions to be present at the same time choosing and or or option the next one on the menu is sign up forms using zoho campaigns you can create sign up forms for your newsletters and get more leads and contacts for your mailing list you can create a new form and choose from different templates that are available in zoho campaigns there is a huge variety of different templates there's compact forms that you can choose from. There's banner forms for your website that you can embed, for example, in your blog section. There are longer forms with more additional information if you need it. There are also pop-up windows, the standard pop-up windows and the blanket pop-up windows that will cover all of your page. And there's library of your saved templates. In Zoho campaigns, you can also assign scoring to the contacts and then send the email campaigns to the contacts that scored a higher amount of points and that are valid for your email campaigns. And the last on the list of contacts is contact tags. To segment your contacts, you can also create different tags that you can choose different colors for and you can find your contacts and contacts list much faster using these tags. And let's go to automation. In Zoho campaigns, you can create workflows with certain triggers that will trigger certain actions. For example, sending an email to the client after the purchase. There are different types of workflows that you can create. The welcome and onboarding, the nurture series, re-engagement, customer retention, the workflows for e-commerce and conditional workflows. There are instant, time-based and activity based conditional workflows. Another great feature of Zoho Campaigns is the ability to connect your e-commerce store to Zoho Campaigns account. This will allow you to send the emails to your customers after they purchase the item with all of the additional information and then also do promotions and inform them about the different activities and discounts. This will also allow you to analyze the demand in your store and then promote certain products during your email campaigns marketing. The next step is library. There's image library, email templates, workflow templates, form templates, and attachments. We will go to the tab of email templates. You will see all of the emails that you have created and you can create a new one using basic templates that have the basic layouts that you can use with pictures and tags. And there's also an option to use pre-designed templates there is a huge library of different pre-designed templates made by Zoho different in different topics. For example, the welcome emails, the newsletter, holidays emails, seasons, deals and offers, thank you emails, emails in to inform your audience about the webinars that you will be hosting, to send surveys, to wish a happy birthday. And also there was a COVID emergencies and crisis email templates. You can choose any of those pre-designed templates and then you can customize it however you like to. Let's choose this one and I will show you how the email builder looks like. First of all, we have to name it and then we can go to the editing part of the video. So here you can see the editor of the templates. There's different tabs on it, the elements of the templates, the layouts that you can change and the design, the basic design. Let's go to elements. First one is text. There are three sizes of text that you can obviously then change. Then there's images and different layouts of the images. There's also a text plus image, different layouts with these elements. There's buttons in different shape and form that you can choose from, columns that you can create and you can create custom table with different columns, socials where you can list all of the socials that you have. We have already it in this template. You can add more social links to this tab and you can also change the appearance of how it looks and different styles of the icons. 
you can choose the option of icon only or you can also have a name of the social network and then obviously change the appearance and size of these elements very very easily for all of the elements you can choose the background color the paddings and the layout in this template the next element is footer very useful element because all of the email campaigns need to have this information and the ability of your customers to unsubscribe or update your preferences the footer comes with the standard text that you can just insert and then your email campaign won't be ending up in spam the next one is spacer you can easily drag and drop any element and place it wherever you like and you can also choose the how big the spacer will be and also there is a divider option where, where you can divide different parts of your email campaign and choose the different styles of it for example it can be solid dotted dashed or a double spacer you can also change the color of it obviously and the layout in your email you can also easily delete any element from your email template or move it around the canvas the next element is dynamic content which will allow you to create a content for different targeted groups for example, you want to insert an image that only the recipients from your contacts from a certain country will see, for example, a country of USA, and you want to create a personalized image for a certain contact or contacts from a certain criteria. The next element on the list is a table. There's different options of the tables you can create. There's also an option to add boxed text to highlight something in your email template. And also you can insert HTML to your email campaigns. And now I want to tell you more about the element of the image and how can you change it because it's not only available to insert an image to your email campaign but also add additional image on top of it, a text and a button on it. For example, if you want to add a logo on top of your picture, you can easily do that later on while editing your email template. Obviously, you can again edit the text however you like, you can add more elements, change it, you can change the font of it, and you can also personalize your email template by merging text. For example, you want to write down hello and you want to add the recipient's name. If you merge the text, the name will change depending on the information about your contact and it will be personalized for each of your contacts. Again, you can change the fonts, the sizes, make it bold in italic and it has all of the main text editor elements and again this software is highly customizable even if you added columns for example you can change the widths of each of the columns and you can change all of the elements however you like and you can easily make any type of designs of your email campaigns in this very easy to use template editor now let's go to the settings there is general settings which include the profile and company details and the next one is users and control this is a very useful feature you can manage different users and set up the roles with different access levels for example a standard admin doesn't have the ability to export the mailing list if you don't trust your employees fully you can set again different roles with different permissions to each of the roles the next one on the settings is campaign policy with email limits and for example content approval there is also sms settings and the next one on the list is domain authentication if you want your campaigns to be delivered successfully you need to authenticate your domain from which you're sending your campaign and then your campaigns will be delivered much more successfully there is also customization with header and footer where you can set up a standard footer that will be added to all of your campaigns for example with standard footer text information about the company and the picture of your logo and you can also on the settings you can create custom fields and also the merge tags 
very important setting options are also integration option where it can integrate Zoho campaigns with different types of apps. There's pre-made integrations that you can easily use and integrate Zoho campaigns with all of the different apps that you can see. For example, LinkedIn, Facebook, Zoho Recreate, Analytics, Evernote, and so many different options. Again, these are already pre-made integrations. There is also an option to use Zapier or Zoho Flow to connect to other apps that are not on the list and choose from ready-made integrations. Or you can go to Zoho Marketplace and buy the integrations from there. And there is also APIs and webhooks that can help you to create your custom integration of Zoho campaigns with other third-party developer apps. Also, I forgot to mention the last tab on the menu, which is reports. There are different types of reports where you can see all of the analytics from all of the campaigns that you sent within Zoha campaigns. And now it's time to create your first ever email campaign. To do that, you can press the button create campaign and then choose a type of campaign. There's regular email, A-B testing, RSS and other options, for example, Zoho survey or e-commerce. We will choose the regular email. You have to name it and also assign a topic to this email campaign, for example, marketing topic. You can save and continue and then we will create the campaign. First of all, you have to specify the subject. You can personalize the subject, for example, write hello and then again use the merge tags and it will create the personalized header for different contacts with contact name of the recipient. And then you can also add emojis and the pre-header of your email campaign. After you send it, you can choose a sender of the campaign. So you can write a sender name, you choose a sender email, and there are some options. You can choose the same sender for all of the recipients. You can make it based on custom field or make it a CRM owner address. And the same goes for the reply to email address. After that, you obviously need to choose the recipients of your email campaign. It can be lists or segments of your audience. We will choose the list and then you can choose the list to which you want to send this email campaign. And the last element of the email campaign is creating contact. You can choose from saved templates, pre-designed templates or basic templates. We already made a template for our email campaign. So we will choose that one to proceed with creating the email campaign. Then you can choose the launch options. You can send immediately, send in now or send it in batches or send later also gives you a few options. You can send it at fixed time and time zone, send it in batches, recipients time zone or recipients optimal open time your campaign will be sent at the time when the recipient is most likely to receive it and then you can change the date and the fixed time from where the sending will begin Zoho campaigns also gives you the ability to send a test email, for example, to your email address to check if everything is okay with the email and see how it looks like. And also, if there's something wrong with your campaign, Zoho campaigns will notify you. For example, we forgot to add one of the links and it notified us so we can change and fix this mistake. After you checked everything, you can easily send your campaign and get great results using Zoha campaigns. I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you and you will send powerful campaigns to reach out to, to your target audience. Please make sure to like and comment this video. And if we left some information out, please let us know. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button because we make tons of useful content for you every single week.